in April, the Joseph Biden Award, uh, you actually reached out to me, Egypt, ironically, to let me know that I was uh, going to be receiving this award, uh, award as I was entering Washington, D.C. Oh. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> yeah, I was actually, Kevon and I uh, were going to Washington, D.C. to get some uh, content for Black History Month for our YouTube channel. And it was at that moment when we crossed over the, the line into from Maryland to the District of Columbia that you that you told me that shocking news. You see and so how let, the universe works? Huh? As you see, see how, how it works? Universe? Yeah, I was, <laughs> I, was, I was in Washington, D.C. on my way to the Washington Monument when you told me that. And you also told me that Mr. Cox was getting the award. At the time, he didn't know that. And I didn't think it was, I didn't think it was my place to, to spill the beans. <laughs> but he's in the studio. We're going to talk to him about that too. But mm-hmm. let's talk about that award. What, how did you get involved in that? Um, I actually received the award uh, December. Okay. 2020. Yeah. Uh, December 2022. And I saw that it wasn't really that much people no, that... it was 2021. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. It was that <laughs> well. I'm getting the years mixed up, okay. but um, two years ago. Yeah. yeah I didn't. Uh, wow. That didn't. That did not feel like that long ago. See, that's why I'm the manager. But um, <laughs> yeah, I I got it, and that was like my first time ever really, you know, knowing what it was. Right. And I felt like more people that were surrounding me should be getting that award as right. well. So um, I took it upon myself to just really, you know, try to spread the message and try to get as many people that I know is doing the work in the community to um, get the award as well. Okay. Now, 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 there's two people in this room who, who you felt uh, were deserving of this. Um, you know your microphone's on, right? <laughs> <laughs> Growling and all that. <laughs> Damn He's show. okay. Um, there's two people in this room that you felt that were uh, worthy of getting that award. One of yeah. them is uh, a phenomenal photographer, a phenomenal videographer, a phenomenal filmmaker, and a phenomenal phenomenal person. I should have started with that, That's in my opinion. <laughs> and humble. Yeah, right. Um, why did you feel that Mr. Cox, Mr. Uh, Michael Catlow Cox, should receive this award? Why was he one of your choices? So when I was... You know, coming up in the fashion industry, like I would always see him yes. taking pictures. Yeah, he loves. So I was yeah. like, I was like, I feel like he should be getting one. Yeah. You know, he was always there. Mm-hmm. He was there when I was there. Yes. So it was like, if I got one, he should get one. Too. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And Reba, how do you feel about Mr. Cox? Why do you also? Because I'm sure that you co-sign. Yes. Why do you feel that Mr. Cox should be getting such a prestigious award? Because anything that has to do with empowering people, people have to understand what photography is not just you taking a picture or you behind the lens you're telling a person's story and their journey through a photograph right so when you have a professional photographer such as mr cox and also we looked at the fact that he was a, a military veteran yeah. right see that's important too yeah